Hi, this is Tapcat, and today we are going to talk about XCOM 2. I did take a short break after playing Dark Souls, uh, where I just didn't play anything at all. And then I started playing, uh, well, about a mission every other day, because I ended up, uh, my work schedule got a little bit crazy on me for a while. The last several days, I've played a lot more, so I'm actually making headway now. I have uh, started encountering, you know, some of the later, tougher aliens. And when I say later, I don't mean late game. I just mean it's not part of that initial group that you go up against. And I think at this point, I'm pretty comfortable that I've kind of gotten my sea legs back as far as doing you know, the basic battlefield tactics what I'm still, um, I don't know if struggling with is the right word, but I still need to learn are the new aliens, okay? The first time you fight a viper and he uses his special power, it's uh, quite a jolt. And um, mutons are in the game, but they're very different than they were before. And, um, you know, like things like that. And then also... Man, they've introduced just a lot of different elements to the game that weren't there before. Uh, and additionally, pretty much everything I knew about the strategy part of the game, as people usually refer to your base building and all of that, that's different as well. Uh, unfortunately, I could probably play through the game two or three times from beginning to end before I felt like I had all that. I will not try to get all that mastered before starting a series. What I am going to do is uh, I'm, I'm going to post some videos this week. So the first one is going to be a timed mission that I hit that I found extremely challenging. And uh, I won't go into detail because you'll see it for yourself. But at the time I recorded the video, I wondered whether the specific mission was just that hard or if I just hadn't figured something out yet. I will say I've played quite a few more timed missions now and I have yet to encounter anything remotely that tough. So I am pretty well convinced at this point that it just had to do with the specifics of the map and uh, you know the placement of the aliens and everything much more so than that I, oh, I should have done this or I should have done that. Uh, that said, you know, if you, when you watch the video and you feel differently or you think you see something I could have done, by all means, you know, let me know. But that's where I'm at right now with it. So that will be going up in the next couple of days. And then I'm going to follow it up with another timed mission that, was not a milk run, but, you know, it was challenging. And so kind of show one failure and one that was more successful. Another mission I'm going to be uploading this week is uh, very different. It's a retaliation mission that was just completely bugged. And um, I thought it was kind of funny at the time I was playing it. And um, I thought you might get a kick out of it, too. So I'm going to share that as well. And then that's probably going to be it um, for this week. And then what I plan to do is next week I'll go live, you know, with a full Let's Play. My intent is to play on, um, oh man, I've already forgotten the stupid difficulty names. Oh, whatever the second hardest is. Uh, similar to classic, you know, before what I believe I played on what was called classic Iron Man, how quickly I forget. Um, so that's what I'll do this time too. I'll, I'll play on Iron Man and play on the second highest difficulty level. Uh, I'll probably lose just because of the, uh, strategy options that I'm not familiar with. And, um, also, there will be quite a few aliens that I won't have encountered by the time I have to start recording, you know, installments of that series. Uh, but I'm sure going to do my best to keep that from happening. And I am sorry that it'll have been about a month since the game launched, I guess, that, you know, I start my series. Uh, and I know a lot of 
channels have been doing full blown let's plays and are I think close to finishing them even just remember that pretty much all of those guys got the game. I, I think it was a couple of months before launch because uh, the publisher put a bunch of copies out there uh, to help spread awareness of the game and build that hype up. And, you know, I bought mine the day of launch and uh, that's it. You know, I didn't have any early access to get good at the game or, or even familiar with it. And, uh, and part of it is, too, I made the choice to start a Dark Souls series because that's what I wanted to play. Uh, but the price I paid for that is when the game did launch, I wasn't free to just immediately start playing it all night, every night. You know, I finished that series and then I felt like I had been pushing myself hard enough and recording enough installments, you know, that I just wanted a little time to not play anything. So, um, you know, that's on me totally. I, I don't put that on anybody else. But at any rate, it did kind of cause a delay in terms of me getting any familiarity with the game. And granted, I guess I could have just started recording installments, you know, the first day or second day uh, I started playing. But I didn't really think that people would want to watch a series where, you know, I'm just making every mistake imaginable. And I think it's funny. Most of the time I do launch a new series the day of release, if I can manage it, or, you know, like the next day. But um, I think because there were so many advanced copies out there and other people who were recording series had gained some familiarity, I felt like, man, like, <laughs> I don't normally worry about looking bad. My God, I've uploaded videos where, you know, I make horrific mistakes. But um, something about literally everyone else having had a good while to familiarize themselves with the game and then me being like the one person out there who's uploading my learning curve games, it just didn't sit well with me. So, yeah, you know, I wanted to play 10 or 15 missions on my own and uh you know just absorb it and even as it is you'll see when i when uh the next one goes live the i i'm thinking of it as a let's learn video as opposed to a let's play uh i don't think there's any question i make mistakes in that uh but you know anyway i'm getting better i'm learning the game i definitely when anytime i start playing xcom I get into what's going on in that mission map. I, I've always loved that, much more so than the base building and stuff. I don't mind that. But for me, that's just something I do to get to the fun part, if you know what I'm saying. Fun, and of course, fun means torture. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to start trying to bring this to closure. Uh, just so you know, the two let's learns that I'm going to upload with time missions. The first one is post commentary. And, um, you know, I edited down all the dead spots to make it a lot shorter and uh, did the commentary after the fact. I actually wasn't as happy with it as I thought I was going to be. I'm not saying it's bad. I just wanted it to be awesome. I'm not sure I got to that level. Uh, so when I did the second one, I just did that one live. So um, I still edited out, I think, a little bit of the, uh, the slow parts and sped up some video and stuff. Oh, that's something I should talk about too. When the, the actual Let's Play starts, I am recording the video and the audio tracks separately these days. So it allows me to do things like that. And I will edit the videos down to the extent that I can without hurting, you know, the overall flow and making sure you see what's going on. But there tend to be some real dead spots in XCOM missions where you just move a bunch of turns in a row. And now because I have the audio on a separate track, I can do things like speed up the video so you can watch me move but I can cut out 
any of the video or speed it up that I feel like is dragging it down and then just mix and match the audio so that I keep what's best and not necessarily what I said at the moment I'm trying to show you. Hopefully I'm making sense. If not, let me just say it helps me put together a better video overall and that's always been my goal. And of course, the one other benefit is that when I speed up the video, the audio does not get sped up with it so that it, I sound like a chipmunk. But I don't know, maybe, maybe that would actually be better. Maybe I should try that someday. All right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.